when a little bird me a little bird spread out the word that uh, today is the 23rd and 48 years ago believe it or not was Ascension Thursday a holy day of obligation that's even before we thought of transferring it to Sunday right. so it's a uh, Ascension Thursday in a small in a little town otherwise known as Lamont, Illinois, where the seminary, the Vincentian Seminary was, the minor seminary. Mm -hmm. And that's where uh, 48 years ago I was ordained a priest. Father Lou Versati was a rector there for three yeah. years. Oh, later, much yeah, later. Much later, yeah. yes. Right, because the uh, a good Italian name was uh, Father, who was the rector. There were two brothers. But anyway, they're, they're, they were Vincentians, they were not Claritians. I was the only Claritian, so I joined them, five of them. So there were six of us being ordained by Bishop Thomas J. Grady, uh, Auxiliary of Chicago. So that's a long time ago. So thank you for being here and celebrating uh, <clears throat> in the first reading of uh, St. Peter, first letter of St. Peter, you realize that this is his first encyclical. We're reading from him, he's in first encyclical in and uh, letting us know, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, so, like uh, from his uh, Jewish background, the very first thing, Blessed be God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, whom Jesus has revealed to us, you know. In his great mercy gave us new birth to a living hope, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, and so on. So, this is a beautiful reflection that, uh, that he gives to us. And, and I was reading this morning another little reflection. Uh, this one bishop, uh, auxiliary bishop in Washington, D.C., just lost his mother, Leon Leonor Maria, uh, in Dorsonville. And uh, she passed away. And I wrote a little note to him, you know, during these moments of his. Uh, and, and so I, I wrote to him, he, ex he, he wrote me back. Oh. Dear Placido, says, allow me to express to you my sincerest gratitude for your presence, prayers, and sympathy at the loss of my beloved mother, Leonor Maria. Indeed, my mother was a real blessing from God's love in my life. and. And her death has brought me once more face to face with the mystery of God's plan for each of us. We are reminded that we walk by faith, not by faith, not by sight, and thus drive our consolation from the realization that those who die in Christ, life is changed, not taken away. I will never forget that my mother passed during the feast of the, our Lord's ascension into heaven as a very clear message of what she hoped to receive from God's love at the end of her existence here on earth. I offer to you my prayers as we continue to grow in faith and hope to increase our infinite desire through God's mercy to one day be in the presence of our Lord, and so on. So I was noticing there is no difference from here, from this epistle, or from this reading, from this. The reflections that Saint, say as Saint Peter gives us. In this you rejoice, although now for a little while you have to suffer through the various trials, but anyway you keep on. And, say. and so what a, uh, not, not coincidence, but rather how we are shaped by the gospel, by our readings, God bless you, for the many re readings that we do and, uh, and we are being shaped and formed. So. Uh, and not only by the letter of St. Paul, of St. Peter, but also is the gospel that we read here from uh, the, the young man who who went away sad, you know, say, you know, to to separate himself from all those in order to empty his heart and fill it with a greater joy and happiness of being a disciple of Jesus. And so when the Lord, you know, reminds us, hey, have a greater, a depth, greater sense of faith uh, in, in knowing that it is God who does the impossible with us. So let us then continue with the Eucharist and, and celebrate the many, sense of gratitude for the many blessings that we receive.